morning, good evening and good afternoon YouTube and welcome back to Galway, Ireland. We are making an Irish spice bag today. Now, now you might be wondering what the hell is that? Well, it's a kind of a mix of a Chinese cuisine and then you add some chips and curry sauce on top of it, put it all in one bag and you get the Irish spice bag. Kind of on the border of delicious and a fat kid in the school. But have you ever heard of it? Have you ever eaten it? Oh, I never will forget my grandparents coming back from the bog many, many, many years ago, sitting down to a spice bag at the table. So that's sarcasm, I'm guessing. <laughs> so have you ever had it? Irish spice bag. Do you know bag what it is? It is massively popular at the moment. Everybody has been looking for spice bags and I personally don't see the charm, but I'm excited to see what we can whip up today. And I'm being blinded. Have you ever Bless tried it? This disgusting weather. Uh, no. No. Okay, so what we will be doing is basically everything. We're going to the shop, we're gonna buy all the ingredients we, we need for it. We're gonna show you the price and then we're gonna come back home, make it, try it and be the judges of is it good or not. Woo! So exciting if we survive this awful god awful day. She hates the sun. She actually said today that she wishes the rain to come back. We've been blessed with this disgusting wet. No, I shouldn't be saying this. I am grateful for the sun, but holy moly, it's going straight through my retina and burning my brain. Whoever cut the grass did an awful job of it. <laughs> it's like they were on the drink on the lawnmower. It's done really badly, like. <laughs> Sorry, but <laughs> I apologize to any that cut the grass, but really and truly, this is a joke. It's like a bad haircut. Oh, this is my time now. Last week, Someone had commented that Irish people shop in Duns and refugees shop, I don't say smoke in Little, <laughs> shop in Little, which is not true because everyone shops wherever they like to shop. People that have a big family, they're obviously going to go shopping where they get the best value for their money. And if Little is that place, well then so be it. Who cares where you shop once you get your good food, your fruit and veggies and all that good stuff in. So let's go and make our spice bag in Little. But where, how do we get across the road? <laughs> Do we just run? Jaywalking. Fun fact, you don't get in trouble for jaywalking in Ireland. You can jaywalk anytime, just don't walk in front of the car or they'll kill you. Thank you. And actually drivers are really easy going. No one ever really screeches at you for walking out in front of them. I think they're so used to everyone being TikToking and on their phone and just kind of mindlessly walking out in front of them. They kind of gotten used to it now, even though I do not condone that and that is not good to do that. So be aware of the road guys, let's go. We got the spring onions guys, so next we have to get the white onions. A big huge Spanish white onion if we can find one. I think these are pretty good. They're big ones and they're actually really nice, they're spicy. I don't like buying eggs in supermarkets for two reasons. One, um, they're usually uh, caged eggs or they're not really great quality. But we're going to go for Irish free range. Usually I'll get mine in the market or by a family member or a friend or whoever. This is not my usual thing. But we got a good Irish corn fed egg. For any vegan out there that's afraid that the eggs or the chickens are neglected. They're loved, they're Irish chickens. The third thing on our shopping list is peppers. So we need to get a bit of spicy, so we need the chilies because that's actually a very important part of this traditional Irish meal, is a jalapeno pepper that we grew natively in Ireland. Next, a bit of sweetness. So we're gonna just pay for one of them. We're not gonna buy a heap of them. To the butter oil, through the alcohol side, carry gold, always, or add more. All is good. It's the end of the world. Do not pick this butter. This is awful. This is probably worse than something you'd find in Chernobyl. This is what you're looking for, guys. Remember, none of this, this one. We couldn't find sesame seed oil in Little, but that's okay, because our lovely housemate will donate a drop or two for our meal today. Uh, we have potatoes at the house, and we also had a chicken in the house. So yeah, this is gonna be good. We only have a few pieces, but we'll show you the price when we put everything to the till. I'm gonna be myself. All of that, folks, was 12 euros and 10 cents, even though, as she says, we have chicken in the house and we have potatoes in the house. Chicken here in Leeds is 2.50 for chicken thighs, which we need. And a bag of potatoes is, I think, around two or three euros, something like that. So all of this is, let's say, 16, 17 euros, and it will feed more than two people. So let's say a family with one kid could get a lunch out of all of that. Beautiful stars, I wanna drop. Let's get ready and chocolate, everyone on the YouTube. We're gonna get everything out, we're gonna get everything prepped, and then we're gonna start the cook up. <laughs> Let's get cooking. <laughs> yeah, didn't say it. Let's get cooking. We got the onion goggles on. We got the onion goggles on. We got the sharp knife. Let's get cooking. 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 <laughs> Funny story about these goggles, guys. 
these goggles have a story. Not only are they the best onion cutting goggles, I had these during COVID when I worked in the hospital. Yes, lads, I had to wear these for maybe 10, 12 hours while I was prepping, so God forbid I get COVID in the eye. <laughs> I keep them as a memory of the good old times. First thing we need to do, folks, is uh, peel and chop the potatoes for our chips. Now, this recipe comes from uh, a YouTuber called Send the Cooking Guy. I don't mean the spice bag recipe, but I always watch that guy and I would recommend it. If you like cooking, watch Send the Cooking Guy. I'm gonna peel the potatoes now, cut them. We will make them in air fryer because we don't have a deep fryer thing, you know, with a bunch of oil and stuff like that. So we're gonna use the air fryer because why the hell not? That's one of the best things with ever bought so yeah peeling chopping and we'll be, be back to you then with the next step the reason you put the potatoes in the water not like i'm an expert but everyone should know this is because they're crispier if you do this first you put them in the water the water goes all, all white you rinse that, they release their starch, I think it's called, and then you get nice and crispy air fried potatoes or chips. That's done. We're gonna leave that on the side. I'm gonna get the chicken and we're gonna debone and de-skin our chicken thighs. It may sound hard, but if you do it a few times, it's actually pretty easy to take the skin off and take the bones off. For skin, you literally just pull on it like this, pretty easy. And then when you leave left with just this, you just literally cut off the this part. You literally, <laughs> you should see Lorraine's face behind me. <laughs> I think she might get sick actually. But yeah, you just throw this away. Repeat the process and I'll see you when I'm done. We're cutting those in strips. Why? Well, because Sam the cooking guy said so. So strips, putting them into a bowl like this and then we're gonna marinate them with, 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 I forgot what, but we're gonna see. Let's cut these little things. To marinate the meat, it's pretty simple. Soya sauce, not too much, not too little, we just wing it, something like that. Second thing we will use is sesame oil, even less, much less than uh, the, the soya sauce, just a drizzle a little bit, like that. And we're gonna use, some people use the soya, not soya, the garlic paste. I literally just chopped two cloves of garlic and we're gonna put that in. Now, some people, like my lovely ginger here, hates touching stuff. I'm a Croatian, we do everything with hands. So the best way to do all of this is with your hands. If you're, I don't know, if you're squeech, what's the word for that? Scre scre Sque squeamish. <laughs> squeamish, don't look or something. I don't like doing it with, with a spoon because it's just not, it's not the same. It doesn't get the marinade in every single corner of the meat. So yeah, I'm going to do that with my hands now. And then we're gonna make our spice mix that we need for our spice bag. We have a Patreon if any of you lovely YouTube people are interested. It costs as little as a pint, a ziggy bun, or a beer once a month. And you get to share our little community there and we put our bloopers and all our funny moments. And yeah, when we get up to on a daily, we check in with everyone and it's a great little community. Love the chats. Also, um, let us know what you think of this cooking show thingy that we've been doing for the last two videos. It seems to be going down well with everyone on YouTube. So if you like this and you'd like us to make something else, just maybe stick it down here. Spices. This is the best thing you can make yourself at home. It's also Sam the Cooking Guys. I won't say invention, but it's salt, pepper, and garlic in granules in the same ratio. I use it for absolutely everything. You put, I don't know, maybe two pinches of, of that. Next thing we'll use is the Chinese five spice. Why? I have no idea. I've never actually used this in my life. I borrowed it from my housemate. I didn't even have it. But he says it, this recipe is not the same without it. So a little bit of that. And the final part is crushed chilies. How hot do you want it? I, I just don't know how hot that is actually. So I'm gonna be a little bit careful. We're gonna find out how hot it is. But anywho, and uh, the last thing is just a little bit of sugar. Mix all of that in. And we're gonna need it later because what's the spice bag without the spice? Cue the cooking show without all the banging. I've just discovered how much I way, way prefer vegetarian cuisine. Don't get me wrong, I know you get delicious meals from meat, but I found this very triggering watching him cutting that meat and putting chicken hands everywhere. So that is what we're going to prep now. <laughs> Okay, 
made the sauce. I put one stick of, not stick, maybe 50 grams of butter in. We melted the butter. Here goes the flour, approximately the same amount. And I'm gonna put, okay, whiskey first, actually. You should get something like, oh shit. I'm making a mess. Just whisk it, you don't want the flour to, to burn. And then you add approximately two tablespoons of curry. I'm gonna just do it like this, that's one. Add a little bit of uh, chicken broth. At the end, just to add a little bit of extra, just put like a little bit of honey. Like. And when you have it something like this, then a little bit of sriracha, a little bit of soy sauce, let it simmer for two minutes. That's the sauce done. Remember our chicken folks? Well, we're gonna make it crunchy now. What you use and what I never used before, I didn't know about that. You use the white of the egg and you put cornstarch in. And then, and then what you do is what Florent hates. Again, you use your hands. Okay, while our meat is in the, uh, in the air fryer, we're gonna do the veggies. We're not trying to burn this or anything, we just need to soften them. Literally just a drizzle of oil. Yeah, you need to hear that. Everything in. And just let it do its job. And now we assemble. We put our chicken inside. Ring it, as they say. Mix everything nicely. Our spice mix, if you remember that too. I don't think I'll use everything, but mix everything again. Put your potatoes in. And the only thing left to do now is to put it in a fucking uh, box, spice bag, <laughs> bag, in a bag. It's called a spice bag. So yeah, well, let's do that. Essential par park, part, don't forget about the sauce. Now it is optional. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it. But in my opinion, it's just so much nicer if you use the sauce. Plus we didn't make it in vain. And then to garnish it at the end, you use your greens, spring onions. And there you have it, people. Irish spice bag. Now, of course, you need to try it because you're not a YouTube cooking slash chef amateur if you don't try what you did. So let's take a piece of, I don't know, chicken, a bite like this. That's great. <laughs> It really is. I would use a little bit stronger chilies. The ones we bought ended up not being, I won't say they're not chilies, they do have some heat, but nothing serious. If you like this video, we make one or two per week, depending on how much time we have. Not always cooking, this is only the second cooking video we made. If you like this, tell us in the comments, because we do need to know if you like this, we can cook more. If you want, want us to cook more, tell us what Irish recipes you think we should cook. Otherwise, please hit that subscribe button, check our in, in the internet, check our Instagram and X on Twitter, check our Patreon. Really, really nice group of people there. We just hit 6,000 subscribers yesterday. We are so glad to have you all and we will see you in the next one. So I'm eating this, we literally just mm. did the outro and what that she tells to me, why don't you put it on a plate and eat it? Well, because it's called a spice bag and you eat it from a bag when you're... I'm gonna go to eat, eat it in the backyard now. <laughs> I like to do things off of... No, 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 we're not you... talking. We already did the outro of the video. Uh, spice box, a spice plate. I think... Bag. A chicken spice plate sounds bag. Like nicer. It's called a bag. A bag. I'm, I'm eating from a bag. <laughs> See you in the next one. Wave to good people of the internet. I need a nap. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> Come on, let's eat out of the bag. It's going on a plate. <laughs>